Gaffer, busy week on and off the pitch. We'll start with on nearly a week on since uh, the victory last Friday night. Is the whole week give you a good opportunity for you and the lads to rest, recover and retrain? Yeah, it's been a good week. Look, we, the schedule's been hectic. Uh, so the plan was to give the lads a few days rest, uh, well-earned rest, and then we've had some great sessions on the on the training pitch uh, and ready, ready to go tomorrow. Another big game tomorrow, Northampton Town, who when we probably played them at the beginning of the season and obviously won 2-1 many fans might not have expected the trajectory that they've had you know up to third now but are we playing them I suppose maybe at the right time and defeat recently two wins in seven or uh, no, they're a tough team they're, they're up there for a reason uh, is there a right time to play someone that means there might be a reaction with looking for so no the, it's going to be a tough game we've, we've looked at them how they play what they do uh, and then I've got my scratches in my head, which way we go about it and how we uh, try and go and get... Look, we're, we're going there trying to get the three points and we'll we'll give everything we can to do that. Last Friday night, you went back to the you know five at the back formation. You've obviously got food for thought now. You know, our waveforms obviously picked up. It was a great defensive display last Friday as well. You know, it must be a few tough decisions. Yeah, yeah look, it is. That's that, It was a tough decision last week going into it. And it's a tough, tough decision again. It's a... Uh, as much as we defended well and we went up against one of the best teams in the league, we scored three goals as well on the back of that. Uh, and we looked quite attacking and we looked a threat. So a lot of thought going into it. And like I said, uh, we'll, the team, what I, what I put out there, which formation we go with tomorrow will be what we all feel is the best one to give us, best opportunity to get a result. We've seen Martin Smith featured twice now two games in a row you know what, what have you made of him since coming in the side because he's, he's had to wait his time he's look he's I have said about uh, Smudge he's, he's trains his attitudes spot on week, uh, day in day out in training and the games and he's he's come in like I said from being out the squad and credit to him because he's, he's come in and, and put performances in and like I said it's, it's been it's been good to reward him in the sense of getting him on the pitch because of what how he is as a lad and what he what he offers it's been tough the cup run the Rotherham game was probably a tough decision on him because he'd played the the previous rounds uh, so it's nice to get him on the pitch like I said and, and perform how he has you said before the game last Friday against Newport you expected them to play narrow right through the middle of the pitch what were you expecting from this Northampton side not a million miles off uh, from what you see at well, you see Newport in the sense of the organisation, they are very compact and narrow and they go forward quick, probably a lot quicker than Newport did. So look, they've got some good players within the squad and the, the, the team, like I said, they're up, up the top end of the league and they were second or third of the year at the moment. So it, it's going to be a challenge and I keep saying we have to, if we can handle what their teams offer, we've got quality players in our team, what we can cause problems. Off the field, it's been quite busy as well. We we'll start off with Gav Hollahan on his way to Grimsby. Is that just a, a good deal all round? Yeah, uh, look, we would say Gav's what he's done for the club has been fantastic. It was, uh, it's been tough. He's, like I said, all the lads have had a, a challenge under the belts to to try and get in the team, uh, and Gav's probably been a bit frustrated throughout that process. And the opportunity came, but which he wanted. Uh, which he wanted to take, and like I said, it's he's he's worked out that he was wanted that move to happen, and it's happened. And last night on National League deadline day, I suppose you know Zane got his loan move over to Stockport. You know what was the thinking behind that one? Uh, again, look, it's it's difficult. Lads are coming out of contract. Zane's again, he's a great lad. He's done everything. One, he's he's been limited on his game time. Uh, with us, he's, when he's coming, he's done a fantastic job, and he he pulled me last week regarding that. There was a loan opportunity for him. Uh, we didn't know where, which club was interested at the time, but, and we had to sit down. We looked at it. I said we have to get through the next weekend uh, of games and se- assess the squad where we are. Uh, we did that, uh, and then we found out Stockport wanted it. So but, uh, we had to, as a club, try and make sure the deal was going to suit us, and we offered some terms to Stockport, and it eventually got did, and it more importantly for me and it benefited Zane in the sense that he wanted an opportunity to go get some game time and hopefully he can do that and I assessed our squad at the time and make sure we had enough people and personnel which we do to cover areas where Zane could have played. 
just about mention that you, you obviously assess the squad sometimes during a transfer window which obviously wasn't for us when two people go out sometimes usually two come in you know so you've looked at the squad and you feel pretty happy and comfortable as we head towards the last stretch yeah look look there's areas especially in the zones in the midfield area the two players have gone we've got plenty of cover in them areas and I've also got the scope of maybe the attacking of like fella and people their loans I could call them back at any time now so it's I've got the opportunity there but in the areas where we feel the two players have just left we have got plenty of cover with these departures and you you, you know you've said on camera that contract talks are going on you know how much now obviously i know your you fo- whole focus is on tomorrow but how much now are you looking towards next season no, i've been looking looking from end of the january window my, my thought process is we've we've speaking to players within the squad and we're we're trying to push through things through and it's it's obviously a difficult time trying to get the lads lads are coming out of contract and performances wise they're getting their heads turned by clubs and probably clubs from higher leagues so but we're as a club we're pushing and trying to give the we're making good offers to the lads and hopefully we can get them over the line soon just finally another away game tomorrow before the quick turnaround on tuesday it's been an upturn in form away from home you know what would you if you had to put your finger on one thing you know why our forms changed because i couldn't i couldn't grab a win early in the season you know what what would you say that is uh belief organising the, the the fact that home away we want to go out and try and win the games but just being organised next with each other uh, compact discipline in your shape look I can reel off all the things it's down to the lads when we go on the pitch What we see what opportunities what we can try and do going into the games and trying to nullify the opposition but we've got good players within the squad and we've got the, that belief that we'll go away to likes of Newport and we want to try and win the game it's not about sitting back and inviting pressure and we want to go try and win the game and it'll be the same tomorrow Thanks,